Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your May 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. Here are the cards, the four general energies of the month. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. The overriding energy of the month is the Five of Swords. Now, normally I say top two cards represent love and romance with the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Bottom two cards represent career money with the King of Pentacles and Judgment card. I'm going to read these four together because there's a lot of interchangeability, even though they're from two separate decks, they do seem to be communicating to each other. Um, and I've also pulled an Angel Oracle card, two popped out, and an Angel Romance card. So the Oracle cards, the first one I have is, you know what to do. Now, I think I had this for, ta for Taurus, yes, Taurus. Um, so it might well be there's some connectedness between Earth signs, certainly this month. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. There's real perception this month. You know what to do. And also something which ties in with the reading really nicely is the career, career transition card. Archangel Shamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Now just focus on that life purpose card because I'll come to that in a moment. And the romance card is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So that's beautiful. So for those of you who've had difficulty in love, it is about having that open heart again. Okay. What I'm going to notice, before, what I've noticed before I start the reading with these cards is you have judgment and the wheel of fortune, which is why I'm saying there's a lot of connectivity between these two different decks. But as I say, the cards are talking to each other, which they do sometimes. Um, this is very much about destiny aligning with your destiny in May, Virgo. So it's very powerful, um, powerful month where you'll make clear decisions and deal with things that are going to be challenging for you, um, but you'll come through the other side. Um, or you may well have already dealt with challenging situations because this is, this is a sign of victory, but this is after a hard-won battle where you may well lose friendships, where you may well lose respect from certain people or you've lost respect for other people could be in the business front could be in any aspect of life really um you've won at a cost that's what it's saying but i kind of think this is something where something that you've needed to deal with for a long time uh virgos generally are not are quite slow to act um quite slow in terms of being confrontational uh, I'm sure there's the exceptions so the swords energy is very much linked to the mind and this can be talking about a situation that was making you unsettled now this could have been going on for a long time maybe you were feeling a bit undermined maybe you were feeling somebody was being subversive that's what I'm feeling subversive um, you know when they're kind of like very nice and you can't quite put your finger on why someone is doing what they're doing and then you're finding out from other people and then it comes back to you and you're just kind of like, yeah, I need to deal with this situation and bring this out into the open because it's just kind of like simmering beneath the surface, this unease. So you needed to bring a, an end to this kind of situation because it was creating instability with you within your mind, certainly within your external world and keeping you stuck in a way. So to release yourself, you had to deal with a challenging situation, but you come off the better for it, Virgo, and at least you can move forward now. Now, like I said, this Five of Cups energy, there could have been loss. Now, this could have been lost from this situation that might have happened. It might well be that you've lost um, a connection. Could be in love. Certainly with the cups energy being here, there could have been a lost relationship as a result of... Yeah, I'm just, I just keep on feeling underhand dealings or something going on behind the scenes. 
I'm just not feeling connected anymore. Maybe not feeling that connection anymore. Uh, also, difficult communication. This can talk about arguments. Um, difficulty communication. Uh, difficulty communicating with somebody. So trouble in in exchange of ideas, exchange of views. Argumentative. Yeah. So I think there's been a lost relationship, most definitely for some of you. This can also just be about a loss. This can also be about losing somebody from the other side to the other side, uh, which if that is the case, you know, my deepest condolences to those of you who've lost somebody. Um, and it can be a part of a grieving process. For the most part, I kind of think this could be um, a loss, could be to do with a job, uh, could be to do with a, a loved one, uh, or somebody who had a good connection with. Um, so that connection is gone as a result of something that's happened, but it needed to be dealt with in order to move on. The fives are very much saying that when there's instability, change needs to happen. It's almost like you need to get off that merry-go-round in order to move forward. Um, so yeah, very, very um, positive in that respect. This person is stuck in the past though, and the message of this card is don't, don't hanker after what's gone. Don't get stuck on the past, past memories, past hurts, past emotions, uh, because there's two cups behind this person, but they're not seeing it. Two cups full of opportunity, of love. Um, it could be new love, could be to do with new offers, um, but you're not seeing it because you're so focused on what's gone. It's time to kind of like see the bigger picture. It's time to wake up and Start trying to move forward to something that's positive, move forward to the present and then to the future, most definitely to find that security again and um, to find that stability. And stability is on offer. We have a bridge here. It's a journey, isn't it? It's a journey from loss um, to moving forward. So we have a bridge. You can easily walk over the bridge and find that security represented by the house here um, in the distance. So this card is saying that there is a journey, it's an internal journey, it could be an external journey as well, um, a process of acceptance and letting go. Yeah, letting go in order to move forwards. Now, again to do with this Five of Swords energy, we have, I've clarified this card, so there's the Four of Pentacles, um, clarified by the Seven of, of Pentacles. I think it's been a long time coming where you've had some financial reward, maybe. It's been small, uh, but you're kind of like finding solid ground. I think, I think for some of you, you may well have struggled with finances in the past. So when you, you do get some money, um, some income, you're clinging onto it for dear life. It's been a long time coming because, yeah, this is what this seven of... This is what the Seven of Pentacles is saying. You've been working so hard to try and manifest something, to try and bring maybe some financial income around to your, to your life. Um, but I think it's coming. You're beginning to see that. The idea is not to get stuck. Um, not to get stuck at a four, because obviously the completion card is a ten. So it's keeping working more, keeping working towards it, keep moving forwards, keep going forwards then, Virgo, because you're getting there, you're getting there. And obviously with this Seven of Pentacles, it's saying that, listen, things are coming very slowly, very steadily, but they're solid. Whatever you're building step by step, it's solid. It's security for you. It's not going to give way, it's not going to disappear. So don't, don't link those emotions on. You see, the loss could have been... It could have been a money loss as well, to be fair. You could have lost money through maybe through loss of a job. Um, but there's opportunity to start making that back this month. It's not a small baby steps, but slow but steady. So it says just be patient, just be patient because it's coming. It also talks about the fact that if people haven't valued you, maybe on the career front I'm thinking, uh, on the business front, could be in a, a relationship, potentially. I mean, this could be anything. Uh, if you've not felt that value from another person in whatever life situation, it's time to value yourself, Virgo. Um, and that's why you know, you've got the pentacles on the ground. It's time to be grounded. It's time to be focused. It's time to be practical. Um, 
Yeah, so grounded, doing things from the heart, the pentacle over the heart, doing things from the head, pentacle over the head, focused in every way possible to ground yourself now. and Be practical. And if you do, I mean, this is just wonderful. I kind of think that some of you are going out on your own. Maybe you're splitting from a relationship. I've noticed the Queen of Swords is here. Um, so some of you are going out on your own, uh, standing on your own two feet. And I think it's been a long time coming. I think some of you have lost a relationship, marriage, partnership here, most definitely. But you're getting that abundance back and you're getting a good sense of self and you're recognising your own value, maybe for the first time in a long time. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful energy. This is a card of self-sustainability, standing on your own two feet, creating your own abundance through hard work, through focus, through being grounded and being practical and through very much valuing yourself. So yeah, powerful, powerful card. Um, yeah, beautiful energies. Now, these cards generally do talk about, I'm kind of thinking more business and finances. If I was going to talk about a relationship, like I said before, certainly with this Nine of Pentacles being here, the King of Pentacles being underneath the Queen of Swords, there could be a, a divorce, a split of a relationship, a lock, loss of a relationship, certainly for some of you. I think some of you will be throwing yourself into your career as a result of that. Um, but the Queen of Swords can represent on the relationship front, she can represent the separation, divorce, um, taking a break, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, I'm just going to go back to this card because, you know, the Ace of Swords, this, this says that you have a chance for a new beginning. So whether it is on this relationship front, um, where, which kind of connects with, with the, the Nine of Pentacles standing on your own two feet now, this is a, a good, this is victory card. This is a real victory card. This is also a new beginning. Overcoming obstacles. There could have been like um, legal situations involved in this. Um, certainly for some of you, because the sword's energy, um, it can link with um, legal situations as well, certainly when justice and judgment may, be, may appear too. Um, so I kind of think some of you have had some kind of like either karmic justice or truth is coming out. Maybe somebody has been underhand to you, like in this situation here, the five of swords, and the truth is coming out, Virgo, yeah, I think you're also aligning to your own power. This can be a sign of, of grabbing hold of your own power, your sense of self, mental clarity again, where you were confused, where there were clouds hanging in your mind, and uh, memories of the past, you know, like I spoke about before with this five of cups energy, memories holding you back in the past, past hurts holding you back. You're cutting all that away. You're releasing. This can also be positive communication coming into you, maybe an opportunity to move forward again, could link to this nine of pentacles energy as well on the business from maybe in terms of offers. Um, could also be positive communication coming in on a settlement or a legal situation, you know, that, that works in your favor so very much about getting your crown back, having lost it. Um, you're beginning to find your crown and you see the crown is here. I just love, I love the way the cards are in. The, the crown is here where you're taking your crown back for that new beginning and you're beginning to find that sense of value again, wearing that crown. You see the crown here. Um, so yeah, beautiful energy. So in terms of, yeah, Wheel of Fortune and Judgment are here, which represents that real when I spoke about your life purpose, this is realigning yourself to your life purpose. The reason why we go through obstacles, challenges, difficult situations, is to bring us back into line with our true purpose, our sense of self, what we believe in, what's true to us, what we enjoy, what makes us whole. Um, so very much about aligning yourself to destiny now, Virgo. Now, in terms of... Um, yeah, I mean, let's start with the Wheel of Fortune. I've spoken about the Queen of Swords. And um, what I will say about her is that you're very perceptive. 
majorly perceptive this month. You will see through things in a heartbeat. You will see through people's motivations in a heartbeat, which is why this situation probably happened, because you needed to deal with something that you were just, you know, that had just gone out of control. Um, so very, very perceptive and kind of acts very much with that emotion. She deals with the facts of the situation to regain that mental clarity. Yeah, and that's powerful. The Wheel of Fortune, things turning in your favour. Good luck, good fortune on your side. Obstacles being removed from your path. Um, again, where you were endeavouring to overcome obstacles here and were victorious, you've got two signs of victory here. This is about the universe working in tandem with you now, removing obstacles that you know once held you back, whether that was people, whether that was situations, whether that was money. Um, it's all coming good. Now... Judgment. I love judgment. It's a point in time where everybody is judged. You know, and there is a karmic judgment here, which is why I'm saying don't dwell on the past now. Don't dwell on people that might have hurt you in whatever aspect of life. Leave them to judgment because this is karma. This is divine retribution. It's about, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to move on. That's what judgment is saying. Forgive where you can forgive and move on. And don't take baggage with you. This is about, you see how these people are naked. This is where, this is an awakening of the soul. Um, awaken to your true destiny, to your true calling, to your true purpose. This is about stepping into your own light. Uh, this is about stepping into your own awakening awakening to your true capabilities, awakening to your true power, and not allowing the baggage from the past to hold you back. Yeah. And if you do, I mean, on an earthly level, King of Pentacles, Paradise on Earth, that's what he creates. Um, very, very, very magnanimous, uh, very successful, on an earthly level, so money-wise, house, property, cars, um, also very deep, collect connected, solid relationships. He builds solid, firm foundations on which to build his empire, so to speak, or his life. Um, and you're being asked now to step into understanding that you've got the capability of bringing this change around in your life now. You have the ability to manifest more financial reward, potentially. This can also connect to recognising your own power in a situation. This is a sign of success. The king is a sign of success. The queen is a sign of success. It's recognising that you can move forward with real conviction, with real power, with real drive. This is earth energy. It ties in with you, Virgo. The ability to manifest and change your, your fortunes for the better on an earthly level. Um, so you're very much connected to wealth, prosperity, jobs maybe as well. Um, security, most definitely. It is wanting that financial security as well because that brings about so many opportunities for you and also gives you peace of mind. Um, so yeah, having solid relationships as well, solid relationships, solid foundations, maybe where you've, you could have walked away from a relationship in the past. Um, this is recognizing your own strength and yeah, having those people in your life that give you solidity, that give you positive um, support going forward and that's the strength that's the beauty of it but yeah very much destiny at play here um so yeah deal what you need to deal with in may virgo because you will be victorious it will bring about change a new beginning and greater value of yourself and greater monetary value most definitely in your in your life and um, by making clear decisions clear choices um but yeah beautiful uh, i love this reading Hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I will see you next time. Thank you.